concrete out of the skip and the empty skip returning to the top of the hill to the batching plant to have more concrete added to it and do it all again. One of the things that they incorporated in the dam when they raised it was an outlet for a hydraulic um, generator with a view to using it as um, generating electricity, but in fact the generator was never actually installed in the, in the space that was left for it. Of course, from time to time the river would flood and overflow everything and they simply had to stop work in conditions like that until the river went down again. Here we see the, uh, the wall, the new wall been coming up with gaps between it for the water to flow through. And in October 1950, there was in fact a bigger flood. By February 1951, um, the extra height had been reached and they were starting to close the gaps between the bits that were already at full height. Aerial Cableway still delivering batch after batch of concrete to wherever it was needed. And this is looking from the upstream side of the wall, um, looking downstream. And the hydraulic outlet is coming up on the right, um, just as we reach the end of this particular segment. That's it there. Looking down on the dam from the batching plant and at the top of the aerial cableway. So, three pieces of concrete at full height and two gaps between. And because they were raising the height of the dam, the water was going to extend further up the valley and they set out to clear all the vegetation in these higher reaches of the reservoir area. quite a lot of tree cover to be cleared. Looking both, looking from the upstream side of the dam to the cableway um, and up to the top of the hill to the batching plant. Final stages of concreting. The wall is up to the full height and they're gradually closing all the gaps that remain and forming the bull nose crest that allows the water to spill over um, in times of flood. Note the sun protection. signaling with flags to the crane operator. Um, skip empty, ready to be lifted. Again, signaling by flags. Putting the final shape into the top bull nose edge. Last skip of concrete.
Because the dam is wider than the rock gorge underneath it, um, there are steps built in front of the dam um, to channel the water back into the narrow gap downstream. And here we see the, 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 the dam finished and the water flooding across the top and down the steps and into the rock gorge underneath. Looking back upstream, water's rising in the reservoir behind the dam wall. A certain amount of um, timber um, being swept down in the, in the water coming over the dam as well and collecting at the bottom of the spillway. And this shows the old concrete with the new concrete being added at January 1950. April 30th, 1950, August 1950, December 1950 and April 1951, almost up to full height. 